AI squared. This. I'm in the middle of braiding my hair. Hi, everybody. No. We're AI squared. <laughs> And it's in the morning, so none of us are very prepared. By none of us, you mean the two of us? I uh, know, I just mean you. I'm prepared. I'm ready. I started. So there's some road construction going on between you and here. I hate road construction. Just the worst. Like, and especially when you believe that it's not really happening or that they've finished miraculously quickly and you still take the road that they know they've torn up. No, it's completely done. It is done? I drove it last night and it was completely done. And then this morning when I left, there was all those dudes again. So not done. No. Fart in the woods. Rude. That'd Don't be you our know producer. there's a show going here? So, uh, hi. It's been a while. What's yeah, up? Yeah, it's been a while. I'm really sorry about that. We all forgive you. What's been going on? Not really on? that sorry. I've been having a great time. I've been traveling. I'm pretty sure we covered, let's see, how many miles? I don't know. We went a lot of places in the last eight days. It's been very fun. Eight days of traveling. Five days out of those eight days, we had burgers and fries. It's a good time. Wow. And do you still love burgers and fries? Yeah, like I'm already in that mood again. And so I haven't gone through and ranked them yet, but maybe I'll do that on the next episode. Like what was the best burger in my eight days. I'm heading to New York next week and then California after that. I'm gonna have a burger in each place and I'll let you know where it's better. We might do a travel log, only you'll we be the only that. one traveling. Yeah, maybe we could do like a, hi John, this is AI Squared and you're on my screen. Okay. <clears throat> I won't talk like that. You can see how that goes. That's, that would be really dumb. So do you think that there's certain foods, even foods that you like, that when you have them a bunch, you get sick of them? I mean, and yeah. And certain foods, the more you have of them, the more you just fall in love. And I think burgers are that way. Burgers like burgers are and fries. Way. Because they, they're different everywhere you go. Right. Even is it subjective? Like for some people, is it going to be burgers? But other people are like, dude, I don't want to touch a burger. Maybe, but I've never heard of anyone that did that. Okay. Well, Except for Jenny Anderson, she's a vegetarian. Well, but that's a different reason. Doesn't count. Then. Yeah. Uh, pizza. If you I get sick of pizza. Yeah. I do. Like, there's, yeah. In college, we had so much pizza, I just got sick of it. Do you get sick of pizza all the time? Sick of pizza? Sick of burgers? Not burgers. Also, no. fries are different everywhere you go, so it's like a new experience every time. Does Arby's count in this I... burger adventure? Well, no. Right. Neither does McDonald's. Like, well, that's, that's just like, those fast food places are like, that's a different burger in and of itself. You're a different burger in and of However, yourself. when I go to California, I will be having an out burger, and that is the best. Yeah, yep. I think that's all the Blazer Crew Beats out there. Oh my gosh. Because all they, all they serve, like they, their menu is you get a burger and fries and you can choose what you want. It. So you can cheese, lettuce, all that stuff. Then then they have three types of shakes and that's it. That's the whole restaurant. I saw a classic pick from <clears throat> McDonald's of like the 80s or something. The classic pick. Yeah. And their whole menu was like the size of this painting, wonderfully painted by Nina Francine. Huh. And like there were just like maybe a handful of options. Couple different burgers, couple different shakes. Yeah. Get your drink. Yeah. No. It was all for under means. like three dollars. Super, super good. The times, um, man. Speaking of the Blazer Crew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They made a video. Mm-hmm. Two, actually, the second. We were up. told that they're going to run for our money, and I do not agree. Do you agree? I don't know. I feel like their style. Longer. Like. Oh, sorry. Do you agree? That's better. Okay. Yeah. I feel like their style is pretty different from ours. I mean, yeah, I mean yes, was, they still have like the interview. It was blurry half the time. Come on, Dan. <laughs> like, you didn't even focus some of the time. Well, that's not necessarily stylistic. That's just... Just crappy. Yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, like, we just like to chat and our circumstances don't really change. Whereas well, for them, they can just it's, film it's like, a like a beach. It's like a documentary or something. Yeah, and it's like, whoa, that's a beach. Best part, that little boy. A merman! It's a merman! Oh. <laughs> Anyway, enough about them, because this is about us. 
And, and a movie. Movie, yeah. So by is, sort of popular request. We, I mean, Jody's pretty popular, and she requested. Shout out to Jody. Yeah. We um actually agree on a lot of things. I couldn't. I was gonna say we don't agree on much, but we actually do. But this movie we really liked. I mean, you saw our first episode where we talked about movies, and our movies were very different. This movie. Which movie? Hit the spot for us. This movie. Which this movie? movie? Called Inside Out. <gasps> Inside Out. It is actually <gasps> a baller of a movie. It's just a baller. I don't know if and it's, I mean, well, it was a baller it's like. Balls. Baller. And it was also like. <laughs> baller. And also there were lots of, lots balls, of balls all over the place. All over the memory balls. It's probably. It's a baller of a movie. It's a baller. Wow, that's so good. I need to write that. Oh, I can just look at this. Okay. Yeah, right wow. um, yeah, it was really good. So, for a lot of reasons. Do we, know do we spoil things? I don't think we should spoil things, but I mean, okay. basically the premise of the movie is you're going inside a little girl's head and you're meeting these five beings. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're basic they're... impulses, emotional yeah. impulses. You got disgust. Yep. Fear, Fear. anger. And joy and sadness. Yes. And basically the two main people, emotions that are butting heads all the time are joy and sadness. Yeah. And basically as she grows up, she learns how to intermix those. Yeah. Or that... But like her, I think... Good emotions, healthy emotions contain both. Potentially right. and joy I think, and like, sadness. I think the premise of the movie is too is like if you went into other people's brains, there's a different person that's like in the center. Like, I think for the mom, it was like... Yeah, that was subtle. But so, was... I think for her, joy was the main. Yep. But not and for everybody. for the mom, sadness the mom, was the main. Sadness was the main. Yep. For dad... I think it was anger. <laughs> no. It might have been fear. Really? I don't know. I don't remember. Because anger was the bus driver. Like, he was the middle guy. Yep. But anyway, so like, I think... Yeah. Like, one of the main points, too, is like... Everybody has one that kind of jumps in more often because joy was like always jumping in when fear would come she'd be like no no no, no. yeah yeah i like that joy ran the show but it yeah. was also mm -hmm. an interesting because at the beginning of the movie i was like oh great is this just gonna be like a pixar like let's all be happy movie yeah no it turned out to be way more complex oh, than so that good. you should see it and any there age? are silly moments like i think yeah any age would appreciate mm -hmm. it but Bing for bong. me i was like dude being a dad like with kids like learning how they react and respond to things is like whoa yeah. It was intense. No, yeah. It was a baller. It, like, makes me want to sit down and, like, write out for myself, like, who my yeah. would be. And, like, and, and then the other premise is that you have these core memories that are built over time. There's, like, five of them or something, and they build your islands, which are your personality traits. So, like, she had a hockey island, so her sport, and then family mm -hmm. island, friend island, goofy island. It was so fun. And it, it was, like... At, because of certain events, they start to crumble and fall. And yeah. Joy is like freaking out because basically Riley is the name of the character is losing her identity. But what nobody really realizes at the time and what people understand at the end is she's just becoming a different person. Mm -hmm. And by the end, she has different core islands and some of them are back and some of them are better, but some of them are different. Yeah. You kind of spoiled that, but it's okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a spoiler. Um, also, so Sadness is my favorite character. And she's played by Phyllis, Phyllis. from The Office. And her voice is just so sad. It's pretty and, awesome. Oh, my, like, oh I, just, I don't know. I, I, just... I could just relate so much to the just laying on the ground. And just like, all right, just take me away. Yeah. Uh, so great. You should see it. That got kind of serious for a little bit. We just like talked about that. It wasn't very funny, but it's okay. Because it's good. Go see it. I think... The movie is funny. Even if what we talked yeah. about it wasn't funny. I definitely cried. And my parents bawled like babies. My father was a mess. I, I didn't quite stray into the ball zone because the theater was packed oh and there were like dudes all over. And I was like... <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, my dad has no, no problems about crying in public. I'm, but I'm still... I'm, I'm a qualmer. I have qualms Funny thing. Of... It's not really funny, but... So I moved to Minnesota... When I was 11 from California. Uh huh. Uh huh. And she moved to California from Minnesota when she was 11. Mm -hmm. That's when my dad was crying because he was like, yeah, I'm in Oh, I but suppose I like, it was yeah, a little more personal. See, that's the thing. Like with Pixar, I think they're always trying to tug at the heart heartstrings. And when it doesn't work for me personally, I'm like, oh, the movie's so serious and stupid. And like, why do they have to be so serious? But when, they, when it works and they do pull on the heartstrings, then it's like, oh, they nailed it, nailed it. So this one, I think they nailed. Yeah, Maybe they really won't good. nail it for everybody. No, but I think though, like everyone that I've heard that saw it, that didn't come out right, but liked it. 
<clears throat> so, it's time for Tweet Tweet. Yeah. That went fast. Okay, at Bad Banana. Not to be an alarmist, but we're running out of things to stuff into pizza crusts. Don't they pretty much only stuff cheese in pizza crusts? Well, they've started with like bacon and like I've never had that. you could put a bunch of different stuff in pizza crust, but mm. we're running out of possibilities, and that's just terrible. Well, probably. Uh, at C H zero 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 C H. Chooch. Never run away from a bully. Tap dance away from him as he weeps before your artistic beauty. Hmm. I can dig it. <laughs> All right, at Sammy Rhodes. The way too early in the morning email is the ultimate humble break. Think about it. Somebody sends you an email at like 6 a.m. and you check out the timestamp and you know they know you know the timestamp of that email. Mm. They're like, dude, that comes up early. Mm. Yeah. I usually get all my emails at that time during the school year because everyone's up. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. Maybe at it just depends on your sphere. Real carrot facts. When you throw a carrot at a businessman, a businessman's head, he usually chases you, so it's good to have a scooter with you, honestly. Because you're definitely going to chuck carrots. Sure. All right. Well, this has been the inside out version. We didn't even do five tweets. What? Right. Four. It's fine. Uh, P.S. I went to Ingrid Michaelson. So good. Represent. Ah, she's so good live. Okay. Oh my gosh. Actually, we'll save this for next episode, maybe. All right, but guys, if you have the chance to go see Ingrid Michaelson's for summer reals. night out tour, go do it. She's the best. She's the best. She's so good. Yeah, she's so good. Yeah. She's so good. She's so good. Breaking it down. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. All right. Cheers Jono, to you. our man. Once again, happy summer. Turn it off. Dude, you wait so long.